All right, folks, we are here with another Wi-Fi battle, of course. Uh, someone requested that I use Guzzlord, so I had to dig into the depths of my boxes. It wasn't popping up on the search, and I was like, oh, that's because it's not a part of the decks. But I was able to find it down here somewhere. There we go. So we're going to be running the knockoff Heavy Slam Draco Assault Vest set. We've also got Magirna Original with the Assault Vest as well. We got Silver Mirror. We got uh, the boy, Urshifu Rapid Strike, as his brother, uh, Urshifu Single Strike, was indeed banned from OU, so we're going to be using uh, Rapid Strike. We've also got CTC and Celebi. I had to uh, change up the moveset a little bit to become a Stealth Rocker, but I think Celebi as a Stealth Rocker is pretty cool. I was running this uh, team on Showdown, I had a few couple different Pokemon and I had trouble facing like water ground types so and we all I'm, I'm not about to have another problem with a freaking Dynamax Gastrodon so we've got Celebi with the Giga Drain just in case we need it so with that let's go ahead and find a battle shall we all right our opponent has a very cool team some fairies and dragons looks pretty cool to me um, I've been I've been appreciating all the comments I've been guys I read every single comment so please Comment down below what Pokemon you want me to use, what Pokemon you want me to make for Shiny Sunday. And I'll do my best to make it happen. So, he's likely going to lead off with either Grimmsnarl or Clef. Two fairy types. You know who opposes fairy types? Magearna. And, um, I did, I ran the damage calcs, um, and I made it to where Guzzlord is able to survive a Timid Specs Draco from Dragapult and then revenge kill it with either knockoff or uh, uh, Draco Meteor. So we're gonna be sitting pretty. Should be a should be a good time. Anyways, let's see what our opponent does here. Leads off with the Clef, indeed. All right, and I don't. Did he have any uh, switch-ins for Flash Cannon? Let me see. Um. Oh wait, he does have that. Um, does have I'm blanking on the name I'm wanting to say juggernaut but no it's something else we're just gonna fly we're gonna volt switch here all right he foolishly stays in I, again I over predicted it seems what's its freaking name it's uh, clanging scales um I'm blanking on the name I may as well go into this and get up rocks as well even though I'm gonna have to defog them probably Let's see if he thunder waves or something like that. He goes for rocks himself. Cool, cool, cool. Guys, help me out. What's its name? It's, uh... Come on. Gen 7. Uh... Pseudo-Legendary Dragon Fighting. It's, uh... Shoot, I'm just gonna have to look it up. I'm blanking on the name. He goes for Wish. Pokemon Fighting Dragon. Oh, it's Como. There it is, Como. Alright. All you turn out. Let's see what he's probably just gonna protect or something, right? Nope. Alright, so we're gonna get the heck out of here. And let's go. Or should I go CTC? Not take any rocks. Goes for the moon blast. I'm not sure if he's unaware. He's probably. I'm just gonna go for nasty plot real quick. Plot up, plot up. Let's see what he does. He's likely not. He's probably standard magic guard um, set up. So he wouldn't be running Calm Mind unaware. And if he is, well, I've got Nershifu Rapid Strike. Choice Band sitting in the back, chilling. So we plot up real quick. Goes for another wish.
I don't know if this will kill or not. Go for the overheat. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> That's some trash. To come so close and yet so far. Alright, he's just gonna... I knew I should have just nasty plotted another time. Whatever, we're just gonna Volt Switch out. Into Magirna. All this time, just to get rid of a freaking Clefable. So annoying, bro, so annoying. He's not even protecting. He's so confident. Alright, now he's gonna protect, though. So tired of this. This nonsense. Give me a freaking boost, bro. I could have knocked you out turn one. But of course, what did I do? I had to overpredict, and here we are. How many minutes is it? This has been at least four minutes. Just against a freaking Clefable. This is why I hate this Pokemon so much, bro. Alright, but we're at full health when we were plus one. That's uh threat number one to our uh Guzzlord. I do have Heavy Slam on it, but from what I saw in um, Showdown, it wasn't killing. Not sure why it went this. We're just going to hit him with the Floor Cannon. It'll give me plus two and then minus two, so it'll reset me back to neutral. You know, just taking care of all of uh, Guzzlord's threats. Anything that can wall it. I'm almost certain that Como -O is uh, immune to Floor Cannon, but let me just check. Bulletproof. Uh, no, I'm not seeing it actually. It's just Blast, Bomb. Zap Cannon is immune, but I don't know. I'm confused. Whatever. Let's just hit this thing with another floor cannon and get rid of this thing. Ooh, I'm afraid I'm a salt vest though, my friend. Let me eat that up real quick. Bro. Alright. Seems he specs, so I think it's time to bring in Guzzlord. Time to bring in Guzzlord and go for heavy slam on the incoming Grimmsnarl. Let me eat this up real quick since I'm AV. Ah, delicious, nutritious. I'm pretty sure he's going to switch. That looked like Specs damage on the gear now. But I could be wrong. Yep. Go Grimmsnarl, go Grimmsnarl, go Grimmsnarl, go Grimmsnarl. Yeah, let's see how much this does. Hopefully he knocks it out. Come on, buddy. Bada bing, bada boom. Guzzlord putting in the work. Guzzlord putting in the work. I forgot what your comment was, friend, but uh, I hope you see that your boy is putting in work over there. Nice, you'll love to see it. Since Dragapult back in, we did see that he was spec, so we're just going to go right back out in the mag. Because he's probably just going to drop a Draco. I don't know what else to do. Maybe Shadow Ball, but no. no but only thing you can do is drop a Draco. And even then, Magirna's putting in enough work. If there's the Dragon Pulse. I think we could we could live that, honestly. Um, just going to fire off a Floor Cannon. I could Ice Beam, but... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty low anyways. Beautiful Magirna. Such beautiful colors. I don't even want to use my other variants of Magirna. It's just, this one just looks so beautiful to me. Alright, something's getting obliterated. Sends out the Rillaboom. Eat up this nice, powerful Fleur Cannon real quick, bro. 
up. I think it's base 130, right? 130 times 1.5. One ninety-five, yeah. Oh, <laughs> destroyed. McGearn is broken, bro. I think they're gonna ban this mon too. Yo, so Urshifu single strike got banned. Thank goodness. I need my boy Bisharp to rise back up into OU. You, you know what I'm saying? Well, give me a little bit of recovery. Hello. Yeah, because from what I've been seeing, um, I kind of stopped playing on Showdown just because of how. Limiting Urshifu Rapid Strike, very similar to Dracovish, you know, you need to have a Fairy type or something like that. And even then, it can deal with the Fairy types with Poison Jab if, it, if they get low enough. Honestly, I'm just going for another one. Yeah, so I'm really glad it's gone. I might, I was back on a lot of testing these teams. I'm going to get back to putting the teams in the pace pin since someone asked for them. Oh, you think a Dynamax is going to save you, friend? I'm afraid not, sir. I'm afraid not. Ooh, but if he, if he sets up the freaking um, fighting type when he gets the plus one attack raise, that could be kind of scary. Goes for the max flare, sets up the sun. Alright, he takes me out. That's cool. I don't think Guzzlord can live ahead. Oof, and he gets the recovery. This thing's freaking bulky. Hmm. Send this thing out. It sucks he got out the sun. But it was going to be not very effective, anyways. Still owe you. I'm going to just go for close combat to get off some nice damage. Alright. Get him pretty low. We'll live this. Hopefully. Nah, not after those, not after those defense lowers. I'm four. But at that range, I need, well, this is gonna be tough. This isn't going to be too much to work against Dragapult. I think I'm, I'm going to use Guzzlord to knock him out. I don't think he has Draco I mean, I think he has Dragon Pulse. I'm going to just sack this thing off. Get a little bit of health. We'll die in the process, but... Oh, he has a berry. Dang it, I should have just... Whatever. He's boosted my overheats. This is what I'm saying. Dynamaxing is so broken when you can't Dynamax in return, bro. Alright. I remember when I was 6-0 leading? That's crazy. But I got Magirna really low, which is unfortunate. I'm not even sure if I can. I should outspeed this thing and kill it with overheat. Even if it's not very effective, it's boosted by the sun. Alright, please tell me it does enough. Bada bing, bada boom. We take out the coma, oh, the threat. Just had to stall out those Dynamax turns. And finally, the last Pokemon is Dragapult. If he has Draco Meteor, he'll lock himself into it and get the um, get the attack drops. And if he goes for Dragon Pulse, it won't kill. By the way, I'm gonna just Volt Switch real quick. Let's see what he goes for. It's the end of the line for you, my friend. Yep, he just goes for Dragon Pulse. 
with my assault vest, I'm fairly certain I can live. I'm not entirely sure though. But yeah, at this range I'll live. Neither way, he's locked himself in. So we got Corviknight in the back. I just want Guzzlord to get the final kill. Those stones get me low though. And I, I think I have to drop a Draco on him, right? I mean, you, you just got to. Alright, let's live thanks to our assault vest. Ooh, cutting it close, but we lived. And we drop a Draco to end it. Beautiful, beautiful. Guzzlord put in the work. Got the last kill. Alright, Guzzlord drops a Draco. That's the thumbnail right there. Alright. Let's see if we can get ourselves another battle. Hopefully we won't take five minutes to take down Uncle Fable. All right, so our opponent here has uh, Milotic, uh, Cinder, Busted Cinderace, and Charizard, oof. All right, how are we gonna take this on? He's popping off with Jirachi or Cinderace. Maybe Rillaboom too. CTC seems like a good lead to me. Um. Because Lord, nah, we're gonna have to use Urshifu in the back to take care. Of. Thankfully, we got Urshifu to take care of Cinderace. Oof, what a lovely uh, Cinderace counter. That's the thing because now, I mean, people you gotta understand. Part of the reason certain things dominate the make is because people play the game for fun. So since Urshifu Rapid Strike is gone, I think we're gonna. Or since Urshifu Single Strike is gone, I think we're gonna see a rise in. Rapid Strike just because people want that power to go through Protect and Critical Hit all the time. So they're going to go to its brother. Anyways, we get the lead right here. And we're able to Volt Switch out instantly, knock out his Charizard. Ooh, we got a Critical Hit. That is a big yikes. But you know what happens. I mean, when you're faster, you're going to crit first. Um... Urshifu seems like a good Pokemon to bring in. We can knock out a Cinderace. Or we can, if something seems unappealing, we can just U-turn. He's probably going to go Rillaboom. But in the event that he does, I just go into Corviknight. Yep, there's the Rillaboom. So we need to get the heck out. He's interesting strategy. He's not even setting up the terrain so I don't have to fear grassy glide so I can just go for the choice banded u-turn here and almost knock him out we bring in Corviknight to completely wall this thing I'll tell you what I was playing on showdown on showdown pressure is pretty much uh, required because all these freaking stall teams that you find on there Corviknight can beat him with pressure but I have mirror I, I was using mirror armor and you see, that's why the mirror armory comes up. <laughs> Speak of the devil. See, it's it's way cooler on Wi-Fi because you can bounce a lot of things back. But on Showdown, when everything is just about PP wars and stall, you know, that's when you need Corviknight's pressure. Anyways, we quickly dispatch of. Uh, what's it called? Rillaboom. I already forgot because it's dead. Uh, considering what else he has left, I mean, we just go right back out. We're just constantly switching up, volt switching, u turning. There's a reason why I put all those moves on this team. Think about it, almost every Pokemon on the team has access to some type, except for Guzzlord, has access to one of those moves. What a foolish play this is. You, you think you're gonna go for Zen Headbutt? Ah, bro. Ooh, snap, he went for the Dynamax. There's the broken Dynamaxer himself. I am going to do quite a bit of damage, but it'll probably only do a little over half. And then it'll knock me out with the... Even if he does knock me out with Zen Headbutt. Jeez, it couldn't even do half. Goes for the Max Airstream instead. I highly doubt I'm gonna live it. Yep, instantly destroys me. 
And there's the plus one speed. Well, shoot, this was my only answer. I should have thought about that more, huh? He is flying type now, however. I'm gonna go and Volt Switch on out. He's gonna change up to probably fighting and increase his attack stat now. Shoot, that was my only priority. Goes for the max ooze? I guess the gunk shot was his only other play. At least he's not increasing the stat that he needs. Alright, and then just one more turn. Get him decently low, but he's damaging all my Pokemon. I think the play is to uh, sack off CTC because at this point he's taking too much damage. We'll get a little bit of recovery here. Seems as though I've underestimated my opponent. Maybe I should sack off Celebi. No, I need that. If I play my cards right, I can get rid of the Cinderace. I just need him to die. I'm telling you, bro, it's this busted freaking Cinderace. Dynam every single battle. They always Dynamax the Cinderace. Because it's so broken. You increase your attack, then you increase your you increase your speed, and it's just like man, can't ever get a break around here. Only Pokemon that has a chance of living might be Guzzlord. And I don't I don't think he has high jump kick. I'm gonna be honest with you. Doesn't seem like it. Um, I'm just gonna hit him with a knockoff. Goes for the gunk shot. We'll eat this up. Ooh, and he, we dodge. <laughs> I was gonna live that either way. We get rid of busted Cinderace. See, I knew, I knew. If he was having gunk shot, I knew he wasn't gonna have high jump kick. And there's the attack raise, ladies and gentlemen. There's the attack raise. It has begun. We are in. Let me go ahead and calc versus Lucario. See what we can do. Pokemon. Damage. Calc. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can live with the investment I have. Um, Guzzlord. Versus. Lucario. Nah, pretty sure we're gonna die. Thankfully though, we do have Silver Mirror over here. If he close combats, we can knock him out with Brave Bird if I'm not mistaken. He goes for the Drain Punch. Oh, I could've lived that. But it wouldn't have been pretty. Gonna hit him with Bray Bird real quick. Let's see if he has close combat. Yeah, and Drain Punch would have given him a lot of HP. Brings out the Milotic. Gonna take a good chunk of damage. But now we can just U-turn out into Celebi. got one of the Pokemon, it's his uh, Jirachi. Oh, I'm afraid that's not going to keep me trapped, friend, because uh, all my Pokemon have U-Turn. That should be easily enough. Oh, that's not going to keep me. Nope. I'm getting out of there. Alright. Hmm. Nah, not worth it. Best to just get rid of him with Giga Dream. Well, 
Wonder if he's gonna go. Nope, gonna stay in and die real quick. Give me your health. Nice. Alright. Now that that's taken care of, it's just the two steel types. And unfortunately, I did lose my fire type, but it was a necessary loss. Would have really not liked to have kept my Urshifu, though. Um, I think I'll just U-turn out. Oh, dang, I'm faster. Well, we'll get some that, that nice 2% ship, you know what I'm saying? Go out into Silver Mirror. Eat up any hit that he goes for. Goes for the Flash Cannon, interestingly enough. Huh, so he's mixed. All right, I'll get some health back. Let's go and Brave Bird this thing. Goes for the Drain Punch. Oh, this is gonna be one of those stall battles, man. Let's see how much he takes. All right. Uh, it's gonna be a three at KO. Man, you're making me roost up. I don't know, I'm sure if I'm gonna live this next hit, honestly. We live just barely. But that's gonna bring him up. But it will still be a two at KO from there. But I'm not sure after all. Nah, it's still gonna be. We good, we good. We got leftovers. So, all right, this is uh, kind of dragging out, you know, this is just the nature of these battles. Once I knock this thing out, though, we can go on and Guzzlord. Literally just you turn out into it, and then we can finish it off with a knockoff. Seems as though he understands that his battle is lost. He thought I'd switch, so he's going to be switching up going for Flash Cannon now, but that was a foolish, utterly foolish play. Because now you're dead no matter what. Even if you manage to Drain Punch, it still won't be enough to save you, my friend. It won't be enough to save you, I'm afraid. Let's see, how much time are we at? Because I think those 50 minute videos, I think there's, there's a sweet spot somewhere in the 30 to 40 minute range, I think, where people want to click. And I think 50 minutes is just too much. We've already spent like 16, 12, so right now we're going to be at 30. And odds are the next battle will probably be a decently longer one, too. So, I think I might just call it here. Plus, it makes it easier for me to edit. Because school starts up again tomorrow. My last semester finally going to be done. But then, you know, you got grad school and all that. Oh, metronome. Come on. Trick or treat. Yo, look at this animation in Gen 8, guys. That's pretty crazy. I just became a ghost type. I remember I was freaking out with my good friend from high school. I do, um... Well, let me explain. So, I I bred all these Pokemon, right? From Gen 6 and like Oras and stuff. And I was like, man, how am I going to use them? And it was like, well, not much else I can do at school or on the bus, but do the battle match. <gasps> Draco Meteor! Draco Meteor Jirachi! Yo! I forgot this thing got that, but we eat that up, bro. That wouldn't have killed me with it, even without my assault vest. So now, my friend, it's time for you to die with a knockoff. Goodbye. Guzzlord putting in the work. Surprise. He had a metal coat. Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure if that felt like a true victory. <sighs> but we did pretty good the first battle. Alright. You know what? 
For you guys, I'll try to get one more quick battle in, and I'll explain the story. Right, our opponent has some threats in this last battle. I mean, ignore the top two, but just look at those bottom four. Oof, some threats. So, likely going to lead off with the Colossal. I mean, I don't see a problem just leading off with her Shifu Rapid Strike. So, yeah, so as I was saying, um, I had bred all these Pokemon, and all I could do, basically, was challenge the, the Battle Mansion and uh, Oras and later the Battle Tree and uh, Sun and Moon, you know, to get the battle items, get some battle points and stuff. Racked up a bunch. And um, basically I just try to go for the longest record possible. And uh, yeah, every time I'd breed Pokemon, I'd try them out, put them in the thing. That's why they're all level 50, because they had to be level 50 to get into the Battle Mage. And even when, after I realized that, oh, I, I don't really need them to be level 50 on Wi-Fi, I was like, well, Still look cool anyways, so here we're just gonna U-turn out. I can imagine he's Ooh, goes for the air slash. Oh no, please don't crit me. Oh crap. Dang it, I should have just switched out. Wasn't even thinking, I forgot about this thing, man. I didn't even consider it a threat. Shoot. We've got a salt vest. I could have just got a salt vest freaking Magirna, bro. Ugh, that's why I was gonna get too cocky and start talking too much. We're just gonna volt switch real quick. I don't remember seeing a ground type on his team. Goes for the surf. Please don't crit me, bro. Please don't crit me. All right, that looked like normal damage to me. Yep. So we should take this thing out. Ooh, not quite actually, not quite. And uh, that that priority was basically my only means of speed control, unfortunately. As you can see, everything else is slower. We do have an assault vest, Guzzlord, though. He could go for the crit ice beam, but I think I should live in that. I'm just gonna go for knockoff real quick. He decides to switch out. Let's see what he goes out into. Goes out into Hatterene. I'm almost certain I'm faster than this thing. Ah, goodbye, Citrus Berry. Hello, Heavy Slam. Yeah, this thing's super slow, so even Guzzlord will be able to outspeed it and Heavy Slam real quick. Take this nice and powerful Heavy Slam. Guzzlord's still sitting full with an attack boost now. Let's go. Ah, yummy, yummy beast boost. Hello. Didn't think I had that stocked away, huh? These people underestimating Guzzlord, bro. That's crazy. Really wish I had those rocks up for that Inteleon, though. Uh, once again, underestimating. I'll just go for the guaranteed knockoff. Oh wait, I forgot. I can't live dragon darts though. I can't. I, I'm not EV to live dragon darts. Nope. Well, there went Guzzlord. I was thinking it was gonna drop a Drake. I should have scouted. I could have just gone to my gear in a bro. Oh my goodness. Well, there goes Guzzlord. Unfortunately. This is fine, this is fine. Go Magirna. I'm getting I'm getting too cocky, getting too high on my horse. This is what happened the other day too. Um I think I'll just ice beam, get the guaranteed damage. Yep, there's the U-turn. Yeah, I should have known based off his team this guy would be no joke. So I don't know why I'm getting too cocky. Right, who's he go on into? There's the Colossal. Go for the initial Ice Beam. Now we go for Flash Cannon. Oh wait, it's gonna be not super effective if I click too fast. Oh yeah, this ain't gonna kill, bro. At least I don't think. Nah, that's not killing, bro. Well, goodbye, Magirna. I'm very sorry. That went my last answer to Inteleon. I think we lost, boys. I got way too cocky, way too fast. I 
Should be able to kill it with Giga Drain. We still have a, um... Honestly, um, I might just get up Stealth Rocks here. Snack this thing off. That way the Inteleon can't get back in. And he'll die anyways. To kill two birds with one stone. Just have to hope I can finish everything else off. So he's going to knock me out here. And I have to hope that those Stealth Rocks were enough to kill Inteleon. Otherwise, it's all for nothing. Down goes that thing. Yeah, I'm playing just way too cocky, way too risky with everything. You're just letting everything die, bro. Alright, he's gonna obstruct. I think I'll just go CTC, honestly. I think that's enough to kill Inteleon, but I'm not sure, to be honest. He's gonna obstruct real quick. There's the obstruct. Not gonna give me that time. I'm not even sure if we're faster, to be honest. But we're gonna try. Nope. Alright, we're dying. We're out here dying, bro. Well. <laughs> Looks like my last remaining Pokemon is, uh, should've just roosted, man. You just hit me with a knockoff when I die, bro. This is what I, this is why, I, this is why you don't get too cocky, my friends. Right here. You should get 4 would into Oblivion. And the Dynamax, just to put the salt in my wound, bro. I'm not even mad, I mean, I asked for a short battle, did I not? <laughs> I could have whip played this so much better. I was already like, well, I got two good battles. I mean, the odds of anyone staying this long are low. So, you guys got to see me get beat down. I'm sure some of you probably wanted to see that. I'm not even mad. Not even mad, bro. Ooh, get that drop bro get that spadef drop not that it even matters yeah bro I ain't even mad video will take less time to render less time to upload bro we got to see plenty of uh plenty of guzzlord putting in work and plenty of uh urshifu rapid strike just dying instantly <laughs> Alright, so we lose there. I'm sure if I had actually thought things out, I could have had a nice clean battle. But it is what it is. Alright. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment down below what Pokemon you want me to use. What Pokemon you want me to use for Shiny Sunday. Or see later on. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next battle. Those likes really do help with the algorithm. Any of you that stayed this long, please leave a like. If you're staying this long, I mean, you gotta leave a like for that, bro. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next battle. Bye.